Yo, what's up YouTube? My name is Ransom. I'm here with a tutorial in Logic Pro X. I want to show you guys how to make a quick little beat template uh, for yourself. So right when you pull up Logic, uh, it's got your kicks, your snares, your claps, all that ready to go. You don't have to go and dig through everything and, and you know, potentially waste a lot of time. So this is how I would set it up in Logic. Um, I would start with the software instrument track and I would add either some type of synth synthesizer. I'll just go ahead and add Alchemy. I actually do have this on my template as well that I personally use. So I have Alchemy for my first track. Of course, rename it. And you can color it too if you'd like. Uh, option C will get you this menu. I'll color it yellow. Cool. So now that you have your synthesizer track, um, the next thing I would do is add another software instrument track. So track, new software instrument track. And I would rename this one Kicks. And now we're going to add for the instrument is going to be Drum Machine Designer. So now that we have this up, you could of course use these kicks that they have preset in here. But my assumption is you have a folder of, of kits that you want to use uh, that you've you collected over over the years or whatever. So I'm going to close out of that and I'm going to slide the window over here and hit F on my keyboard. That's going to pull up the uh, finder window so we can search for some sounds. I'm going to go to all files. Uh, I know where my kits are so I'm going to go to my desktop in this folder and other sample kits. So once you get to your folder uh, something that I would recommend doing if you got multiple folders that you like to use on a on like a daily basis but they're just in different spots for whatever reason or something like that you can actually right click on these folders and go bookmark you can bookmark these folders and once you bookmark them you'll actually get an extra tab up here you click that tab and it'll have all of your folders stored kind of of what you're going to be using the most so once you got that set up uh, find a kick. So we're still in kicks here. I'm going to go find some kicks. Cool. So I would recommend um, choosing, you know, take this process slowly and figure out what kicks you like the most. I would recommend filling the first couple rows, two or three rows uh, of, of just kicks. So just for this tutorial, I'm just going to select, you know, just a handful of these and drag them in here. So these first two rows, that's a good a good starting point. So, so now I got those on my keyboard. And then once you got the kicks you're looking for, I'd close out of that. And uh, you can minimize that. And we're on to the next. So next what I would do is add, tra add a track, software instrument track. <clears throat> and for this one, I'll add claps. So I'll name it claps. And... And the same thing, I'll add Drum Machine Designer on this track. And then I'm going to close out the library. And I'm going to hit F on my keyboard. And I'm going to find some claps. So again, I would go through and find the claps that you're going to be using, that you think you would be using the most. I'm just going to select a few and drag them in here and drop them. Cool. Cool. And uh, yeah, I would just continue this process with all of your drums. Now you can add, uh, for now we have kicks, claps. You could add snares, hi-hats, uh, you know, even if you wanted to, closed hats, open hats, cymbals, percussion, effects, all that stuff in Drum Machine Designer on their own track like we did with the kicks and claps here. So once you have all those good to go, uh, you could also get your sends... Uh, ready to go such so, like your reverbs uh, delays so in order to do that come to the mixer you can use the letter X and uh, for sends here we'll just go send uh, bus and we'll just make some some sense so we'll use bus one and on the bus one track here we're gonna add uh, let's just say a reverb or something cool so we got that up you can tweak this setting however you want. However you do have it tweaked, that's what it's going to be saved as. And then, uh, of course, I would come down here and rename it um, from whatever aux it is to, say, 
reverb or it could be as specific as short reverb or long reverb or whatever. And then you could add as many buses as you want. I mean, you could add some delays, some quarter note delays, some like delay. And then on this track, add the echo, which is delay, echo. And then you have, you know, some extra buses set up so you don't have to go and do that every time you open a new session. You'll have them ready to go and you can just add them and you're good to go. You can also add something on your on your stereo out if you're interested in having some kind of analyzer on there. You could come here and go metering and uh, multimeter. And this will give you an analyzer which we, you can see, you know, what your waveform is looking like and everything like that. So I would recommend putting that on your master track. So that's on there ready to go. And then at that, I mean, you're pretty much done. If there's a... Other things you want to add, I would, of course, you know, if you have a certain tempo you like to have it at, change it like that. So, you know, maybe 85 or 90 or double time, whatever you want. And then I normally like to turn my metronome on. So when I open Logic, it's already ready to go. And I'll also change my cycle length to eight bars, just so that's also ready to go. But other than that, uh, the next step, once you have all of that ready to go, would be file, save as template. And in here you can rename it whatever you want. You could name it, you know, my template, my custom template, you know, one or something in case you want to make more. Uh, or it could be a, whatever you want. Save it. And uh, so I'll just go ahead and save this for an example. Save. Then what I would do is come up to Logic Pro X, Preferences, General. And for your startup action, change your startup action to create new project using default template. And then on default template, click it and select your uh, whatever you named it as. And then hit choose. And then every time you open Logic, it's going to open that session with everything loaded exactly how you have it. Now, if you want to make changes, if you're still working on it, uh, you can always just come back up to file, save as template and rewrite over it so i'd click that and then hit save again it'll say already exists Do you want to replace it? just hit replace and then that will rewrite it and uh yeah that's how you make a template ready to go i hope this helped and if it did please leave a like uh leave a comment and please subscribe to rock and roll have a great day y'all catch you on the next one